Hi, I'm Jennifer Sorensen. I'm the publisher at Herald Review Media, and I'm excited for the editorial team at Herald Review. They are going to share and reflect on some of the most interesting stories that they did in the past year. And this team has worked extremely hard. Um, I'm proud to say that in our category, we took first place in general ex excellence, um, competing against 50 plus news organizations throughout the state of Arizona. And we won that award this past year. And it's all because of the hard work this team does. So I hope you enjoy the video of them reflecting on the stories that they worked um, day and night on to produce. So as our team shares with you, and reflects on the stories that they worked on this past year, make sure you go to MyHeraldReview.com to read more about what they've produced and worked so hard on, covering Cochise County. Uh, my name is uh, Andrew Paxton, I'm managing editor here at Herald Review Media, and uh, as a managing editor, I try to ensure our coverage of local news, sports, and other events is all-encompassing and serves the community. Uh, I hope you'll join us and uh, check out our coverage. Hi, my name is Bill Hayes. I'm the city editor at the Herald Review. Uh, 2022 has been quite a year, news-wise and otherwise, but uh, of course above all else the uh, situation with the uh, Board of Supervisors and the hand count of the vote was the major story that we covered. Um, I think we did a good job on it. We have a wonderful, talented crew uh, and uh, we'll continue to bring the news uh, in 2023 as it develops. Hi, my name is Dana Cole. I'm a 22-year reporter with the Herald Review. I work primarily in Benson, Tombstone, and Huachuca City. Um, one story that really stands out in my mind is when we featured Paul Kircham, a Bataan Death March survivor who will be 103 in February. He's, he recalls um, with vivid accuracy the experiences he had with Bataan in World War II, and he's an amazing person. Hello there, I'm Bruce Swetton, the Herald Review Sports Editor. One of the popular stories that's happened to me lately is this past football season where we had the chance to witness nine 1,000 yard performers, something I've never witnessed before in all my years of covering sports. We had five 1,000 yard rushers and four 1,000 yard passers. Happening currently right now, another story that sticks out in my mind is our Bisbee Pumas. They are currently 10 and 0 on the season with all 10 wins coming on the road, which is hard to do. It's been a lot of fun being a sports editor and covering sports for the Herald Review. Hi, I'm Emily Ellis. Um, I'm an editorial intern here at the Herald. I'm particularly interested in covering legal issues within the environment and then environmental issues more generally. Um, some of my favorite stories I've gotten to cover this year have been about wildlife here in Cochise County, especially jaguars. And maybe my most memorable story actually happened this past weekend when I got to go down to the border and cover some protests happening over um, Governor Ducey's shipping container wall that he's constructing. Okay, my name is Todd Thomas and I'm a reporter with the Herald. Uh, being a reporter with the Herald has given me a great opportunity to work on a number of, of assignments. One of the uh, best stories I worked on this year was about a charter school football team. It was their first year in existence and they had never been through the grind of a whole season before. Somehow they made it through. They didn't win a lot of games, but they persevered and made it to the end of the season. And after talking to the coach and players, they said, yeah, we didn't win, but it was still a successful season. So looking forward, I'm just looking uh, forward to more stories to cover and uh, learning more about this great city. Hi, my name is Lida Longa, and I'm a reporter here at the Herald Review. And um, I came here three years ago, and uh, one of the most um, memorable stories I can remember writing just recently is how the city of Sierra Vista is trying to help the homeless population uh, by getting them started uh, with a work program that's beginning in January. And it's really been positive to see that because um, uh, it's both in conjunction with the police department and city officials uh, trying to help these folks get off their feet and find a place to live. Robert Cohn from the Herald Review and one of the stories that had a major impact on my life was um, how a former de police detective solved a 32 year old cold case. Uh, he stayed with it for a long long time year after year without getting paid and as he finally got it done I thought you know do I go about my life with such passion do I go about my work with such honest um, honest detail and after I 
had the story done, I thought about my work, my writing, and I take all stories now with as much s positiveness, seriousness, as this cop did in solving this case. Hi, I'm Char Poirier. I've been a reporter with the Herald Review since 2006, minus a couple years when I was retired. And uh, I think this year one of the most rewarding things that happened uh, in the news was having the water issues in uh, the Sulphur Springs Valley within the Douglas Basin and the Wilcox Basin, uh, having those come to a, a ballot um, measure for people to decide whether or not they wanted some help in keeping the water in their wells. Folks, my name is Hector Acuna. I am a reporter here at the Herald Review. I think the most memorable things about this past year, um, there have been some individual stories that have uh, touched me, but uh, in general it just has been the response that people have to the stories that I've written. Um, they may not seem super important, but they have uh, uh, touched people. My name is Mark Levy. I'm a photojournalist with the Herald Review. Um, I've been here for quite a while and uh, right now the uh, two stories that stick out in my mind this year uh, first of all was uh, Snooty Borowick, her memorial at the beginning of the year. Uh, she was an incredibly uplifting and wonderful person. That sticks out in my mind. Uh, along with uh, a young boy who uh, was given a new playhouse uh, from the Make-A-Wish uh, organization and uh, he was quite thrilled about that. So that sticks out, those two stick out in my mind most of all for this year.